They've been on our radios for 10 years now. No plans to slow down. They've just released a brand new single called Keep On Loving You and they've taken some time out just before Christmas to come and say good day. It's the Pop Bellies. Well, yeah. Pop Belly. Yeah. Dave, yeah. good morning. Well, I'm actually the one with the Pop Belly. Yeah, so <laughs> quite fitting, actually. Yeah. Now, thank you for coming in. It's great to see you. My pleasure, man. It's been it's been a little while since we've been on, on the edge, so it's great to be back. Yeah, you know, no doubt. to you guys. We haven't met before. No. So, Jimmy, so good, good, nice good to, to meet you meet, again. Nice, yeah. nice yeah. to meet you today, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, you've got a new single out, Keep On Loving. That's right. Yes. I just wanted to ask you just real quickly. It's it's not um it's nothing to do with this one. And I'm gonna keep on <laughs> I never. <laughs> no, it's not that. I never it's clocked a, that before. It's not. Um, it's not a rework of Ario Speedwagon. No. It's a completely. <laughs> Don't mind the song now. That's an old classic. That one. <laughs> the thing for me is when I first heard uh, "Don't Hold, Don't Hold Back." Yeah. I was in year seven. Yeah. So <laughs> How that, old is that? Like, that I was like, 13. Wow. So that's yeah. what I mean. It's amazing for me to sort of sit here and, and talk to you, but mm. it, it must be um, it must be amazing for you to know that it's, you sort of, you've gone full circle, I guess. You've been yeah. around for long enough that people who were just kids when you first released your first it's big true. music. You know, like that, that year of Don't Hold Back, uh, the, the kids, the, go, the guys that were doing the schoolies that year was the big anthem for that year. So they're now what, you know, 27. 28 and they come up all of us going you are the song yeah. of the schoolies yeah. you know and they're, we love you guys and we just recently did a schoolies you know 10 years later which was this year yeah and you know they, they, we, we played Don't Hold Back first up and it just went crazy for the rest of it. And we're just going, we're still relevant. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> still in it. I mean. Still and in it. It. Was, it, was even, it was even just recently when you had this one. Show me where you love me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it must be amazing to know that, you know, 10 years later, yeah. you are still so relevant. Oh, look, you know, we we, we love songwriting. We love producing. Um you know, we uh, we love music. You know, we love it in all its forms. You know, we've we've written uh, two albums, lots of EPs, loads of singles. And if you look at the body of work, sure, people know the big ones. But you know, we we've have quite cross genre music that we've done. You know, so it's just really good to be yeah. able to, to play it and to produce it and to actually release it. It's, yeah. You know, there's so much music that get gets stuck on the hard drive. Yeah. Once again, when I said well, I was I was listening to you recently, I've noticed that. From over those ten years, your sound's changed a bit. Is mm. that does that? Do you, what do you put that down to? Is it just a an ev- Look, natural evolution? We or change, it- you know. We change, and you know, I think the environment changes what you live in, and you know, we like to keep on looking forward as well. We don't like, you know, we don't like looking back. You know, we don't mind a retro vibe. No, but you know, songwriting wise and 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 sounds, we just like to keep it going. I mean. For this, when we listen back to the original mix of Don Hall back at the time was amazing. When we listen back to it now, we're yeah. like, Jesus, <laughs> wow! You know, technology's moved so far since yeah. then, and sounds and and software and 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 all that. So yeah, now we're all for for moving forward. Briefly back on to um, Don't Hold Back. Now mm. that I now whenever I hear this, I think Jeep. Yeah, sure. Is that a good thing or a bad Great thing? Great thing for me. <laughs> I don't care. Great thing you know, for Jeep too. Look, yeah, obviously. I mean, it's it's going to be on the it's on the air nine years, and you look as I said before, like music is you know it's so throwaway. So for people to be still hearing that yeah. song ten years later, I mean, it's and recognize great. it, I recognize it's not it. The sort of thing so, you just yeah, it's just like the smell of your own fart. You don't quite get sick of it. <laughs> now the other thing that I noticed is. Um, Growing up around that that era, yeah, and I've been a music fan since forever. Mm. I noticed some similarities between you guys and Sneaky Sound System. Do, mm. Is that an accident, or is that no. is that indicative of the era that you first sort of came about? That's, Are you guys friends? Yeah, we're definitely friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tour quite a lot. We actually have the same live agents. Um, as we yeah, we loved it, Connie and Angus. Yeah, we've spent New Year's Eve, New Year's Days with them. Um, we are from the same era. Yeah, but it's, it's quite funny through a Pop Belly's career. Every Every time that we kind of came up with a good song or got nominated for like arias or stuff, that there would always be 
the nemesis. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, like they were sneaky <laughs> that year. They had to won like five Ari Awards. Yeah. The year later, we had another track that we think, and it was the preset year. Yeah. And it was that. <laughs> and then there's another time where I think, and it was Flume's year where he just killed it. You know, we're yeah. just going, God, come yeah. on. Yeah. No, but you know, oh God, you know, I'm I'm very grateful for the successes that we've had, and you know, the the guys sneaky. Um, they're just so unique and we did come from that Electro House mid 2000s vibe Yeah. so I suppose that's what's kind of similar yeah no doubt I don't mean to sound you know negative or in any mm. way but I mean it's it's just great to see people who are still so passionate about what they do I'm, I mean mm. most of the time you can't really make it make it in the music industry without last. having that passion or, or last, last yeah. but it's just good to see that like you said they're mm. still working hard they still care about what they're doing rather yeah. than just sort of fading into the abyss yeah that's it it's not an easy world to do and you know we've all been given the platform and, and we've all had uh, successes in it so it'd be crazy to, to throw it away over you know, an argument on an aeroplane whenever you're late and hung over going to a nightclub or yeah. you're going to the, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's like ludicrous. Come on. Yeah. So, so lastly, good. your new song, Keep On Loving. Yes. What's the story? Ah. Oh. So this was one of the first songs that we actually uh we wrote there. Yeah. yeah. And um it was originally called I'll Give It All Up For You. And we when we, we, we were singing it and our Alan was singing it and all that and then we went, you know what? I wouldn't though. I wouldn't give it up for yeah. anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the edge.